what could a potential South America DLC look like for Jurassic World Evolution 2? South America is one of the most underrepresented countries in this game. Most of the animals are actually from either North America or Europe. And honestly, South America, Africa, Asia, and Australia are honestly underrepresented in this game. Now, continental packs are something that the Jurassic World Evolution community has been talking about ever since the first Jurassic World Evolution game. As Frontier's other hit game, Planet Zoo, has received continental packs, I see no reason why it is not possible that we could be receiving other continental packs. And with the possibility of an Asia DLC coming to Jurassic World Evolution 2, I definitely do think that con more continental packs could be a possibility. Being one of the most underrepresented areas in the game, this continent has a lot of different species to choose from. One of the most famous ones is the Argentinosaurus. Being one of the largest sauropods to ever live, this animal would be an amazing new addition to the game. Many people, including myself, sometimes use the Biosyn 2022 Dreadnoughtus variant to be a placeholder for the Argentinosaurus. This animal is a famous animal from South America and honestly should be added in at some point. Maybe in another species pack. But now, how about we focus on some smaller to medium sized carnivores? The Megaraptor, Eoraptor, and Ostoraptor are all different sized carnivores. Starting off with Eoraptor, this tiny carnivorous animal was actually one of the very first dinosaurs to ever exist, coming into existence in around the Upper Triassic period. This animal is pretty small and is around 3 feet in length and only weighed about 22 pounds, and would be similar in size to the Compi. Now moving on to a bigger sized dinosaur, the Ostoraptor is actually a very unique small dromaeosaurid. This animal actually fed on fish and was actually a much smaller carnivore. Being around the size of our Velociraptors currently in game, this animal would be a perfect addition to the game and offer more variety for our smaller carnivores as this animal had a long narrow snout which it used to feed on fish. Now, the biggest animal of the three, the Megaraptor, was actually a medium-sized carnivore, and as the name suggests, it was bigger than the already present Velociraptor. It's honestly one of the most famous animals from South America, and I definitely do think this one should at least be included, and it usually being portrayed with quills and feathers would honestly make it stand out a, a lot more when in comparison to other carnivores. Now, another type of sauropod that could be included in this DLC is the Saltasaurus. The Saltasaurus is actually an armored sauropod and is one of the most unique animals from South America. As we haven't received an armored sauropod yet in Jurassic World Evolution 2, this animal could fit the role and fill in the Ankylodocus's role in Jurassic World Evolution. This animal could come with a lot of very unique looking behaviors and features and would honestly stand out when compared to our other sauropods. Both the Argentinosaurus and Saltosaurus should definitely come with some defense animations as sauropods in general shouldn't just be huge meat bags for our carnivores. It is kind of ridiculous that pack hunting smaller carnivores such as the Velociraptor and others are able to kill these massive beasts while these guys just stand around and do nothing. Sauropod defense animations are something that should definitely be added soon for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now let's talk about the most requested Spinosaurid for Jurassic World Evolution 2, the Irritator. The Irritator actually lived in South America during the Mesozoic Era. This animal is the most popular Spinosaurid behind the other three Spinosaurids, Suchomimus, Baryonyx, and Spinosaurus itself, as they are already in this game. I do think we should at least receive one more Spinosaurid, and what better option to choose than the fan favorite Irritator? But now let's talk about some larger carnivores. Mapusaurus is one of the most famous large carnivores from South America behind the Giganotosaurus. It was a large carcarodontosaurid that lived during the late Cretaceous in Argentina. It is one of the most famous animals from South America and has actually appeared in many forms of media such as Planet Dinosaur. It also fought and sometimes even hunted larger animals such as the Argentinosaurus. Now, another large carnivore that we could be seeing is a Tyranotitan. The Tyranotitan is a genus of large bipedal Carcharodontosaurid. It also lived during Argentina and was, in, and was related to the Giganotosaurus and Mapusaurus. Both of these animals could be amazing additions to this game. And although we already have other large carnivores such as the Carcharodontosaurus and the Giganotosaurus, I don't think we should discard them just because we see a similar, similar animal to them already present in game. 
That has never stopped Frontier before, and Frontier is always able to create some brand new ways to be able to distinguish our pre-existing dinosaurs from our new ones. But one thing that the Mapisaurus in particular usually does is it usually pack hunts with other members of its species. Our large carnivores should be able to pack hunt, as this we know that this is a behavior that is actually present in some of our large carnivores, and this would be an amazing new thing to be added. Now, focusing on aquatic and flying animals, we could receive the Dacosaurus. The Dacosaurus, although technically not being a Mosasaurus, would honestly add more size variety for our aquatic animals. Now, for flying creatures, we could actually receive either the Pterodostro or the Tupendactylus. The Pterodostro in particular is very unique. I actually mentioned this animal in my previous video about a flying species pack, which you should watch after you've completed this video. The Tupendactylus is another species that I hear people asking for. It is somewhat similar to the Tapajara, which is already present in the game, but this animal shouldn't just be neglected because another animal is already similar to it. That has never stopped Frontier before. But how about we move away from the Mesozoic era and focus on another time period. During the Cenozoic era, there was actually a huge array of different Cenozoic animals living on the continent. Megatherium is one of the most famous animals that lived during the Cenozoic and actually lived in South America. As a potential Cenozoic DLC would probably only include four animals, it would be impossible to add in every single fan favorite from the Cenozoic. The Megatherium would probably be one of these animals to be excluded from a potential Cenozoic DLC. Now, speaking on other animals from the Cenozoic, the Glyptodon is actually another animal that people honestly love from the Cenozoic. Basically resembling a huge armadillo, this animal is incredibly unique and would be one of our more defensive animals from the Cenozoic. Now, the Titanus is actually a group of terror bird, which is an animal that is always brought up when we talk about a potential Cenozoic DLC. If a terror bird is not present in a potential Cenozoic DLC, which I think it definitely should, then I do think that it is possible that we could be seeing it in either a second Cenozoic DLC or a South American DLC as Frontier does not care if animals are from different time periods as we see in the Dunkleosteus. The Dunkleosteus being the only animal from a different time period than the other three, the Nathosaurus, Archelon, and Shonisaurus, I definitely do think it is possible that Frontier could add an outlier with a Cenozoic animal while still adding three animals from the Mesozoic. In addition to brand new species, we could also receive brand new skin patterns for our pre-existing species. Jurassic World the game inspired skins for our other animals such as the Carnotaurus, Giganotosaurus, Kentrosaurus, and Gernotus could all be amazing new additions to this game and would bring more color and variety to those pre-existing species. The Herrerasaurus could also receive its own Jurassic Park the game inspired skin which would give it a brand new variant to be able to utilize. Some new attractions that we could receive for this potential expansion could be hot air balloon tours, rock climbing, and kayaks. Hot air balloon tours are something that appeared in JPOG and have yet to make their return in Jurassic World Evolution 2. It would honestly be an amazing new addition and could really increase the enjoyability of Jurassic World Evolution 2. But now, if we were to receive a South America inspired expansion, which we would definitely need some new maps. New maps for Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Peru, and Venezuela would be amazing to see in game and honestly all of these locations would honestly be able to introduce a brand new biome to this game. The highly requested savanna biome into the game. In addition to this we could receive a South American inspired building set as their architecture is completely unique and very different from anything we currently have in game and would allow us to create brand new parks with a whole different aesthetic. But what would you guys want? Would you want other animals from South America and maybe potentially other time periods to join this game? Is there any animals that I haven't mentioned yet? Please let me know down in the comments. And if you think I deserve it, make sure to like and subscribe. I would definitely appreciate it. But that's it for me. And I will see you guys next time.